The Toyota Crown brand has made a comeback to North America after a long absence. It's a successor for the departed Avalon, but this isn't your typical sedan. Instead, the 2024 Crown walks the line between a car and an SUV, likely in an effort to appeal to customers outside of the full-size sedan market, which is in decline. Join us in this video as we show you everything you need to know about the 2024 Toyota Crown, the industry-changing full-size sedan crossover hybrid. More than just a sedan, the 2024 Toyota Crown is no doubt the dream car of many car lovers. Despite being rumored to be the replacement of some notable Toyota car brands, the SUV has beaten the imaginations of men with its unreal features. Definitely, it is more than just a sedan. The Crown fills a need left by elevated sedans from the past like the Volvo S60 Cross Country and the Subaru Legacy SUS thanks to its combination of a high driving position and three-box appearance. The 2024 Crown debuts with two conventional hybrid powertrains, despite rumors of a plug-in hybrid and an EV version. The base configuration, which combines a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with three electric motors and a continuously variable automatic gearbox, is well-known – CVT. The most costly Platinum variant comes with a special hybrid MAX engine, which combines an electric motor on the back axle with a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder to produce 340 horsepower. The unusual body form and unique appearance of the Crown are balanced by what seems to be a roomier interior filled with high-end amenities. All Toyota Crown models come with a plethora of standard entertainment and driver assistance features. The Crown is Toyota's oldest passenger vehicle name, having made its debut in Japan in 1955. Comparable to a Japanese E-Class, the Crown has gone through 15 generations in its native country and is renowned for introducing new technologies to the Toyota lineup, providing escorted transportation for dignitaries and operating as a taxi. From 1958 through 1972, Toyota distributed it in the country. Since then, the Lexus GS, which used Crown chassis and powertrains, has been the closest we've come to it. In Japan, the 16th generation of the Crown adds three additional body styles to the current conventional sedan, including a wagon, an SUV, and a high-riding sedan. This maintains the model's predilection for novelty. One of them, the elevated sedan, will be ours. A new generation of cars came out a few years ago with the warning, it looks better in person. The 2024 Crown pays homage to the time period. It seems to be a crossover when you are standing next to it in the studio. In actuality, its design would be an electric crossover that struck the right note while juggling the requirements of packaging, market preferences, and aerodynamics. Even the underfloor of the crown is flat, with the unsightly components from the front bumper to the back suspension concealed by aero panels. However, it isn't electric, and when questioned whether it was possible that there would be an electric crown, it was said that the carmaker has no plans to use the TNGA-K platform of the Crown with electric drivetrains in the United States. Beyond Avalon Let's make some comparisons first by getting into the details. First off, Toyota sized it similarly to the Avalon since this is essentially its successor. The Crown is less than an inch wider and has a wheelbase that is less than an inch longer than the soon-to-be-retired sedan. All of these dimensions are four inches taller than the Avalon including the roof height and the crucial hit point for the commanding sitting posture that sells automobiles in the United States. Second, some people could question why this isn't just a Crosstown Honda Accord Crosstour remake. The Crosstour was a mass-market mid-size sedan, but this full-size car was marketed as upscale. The Crown will cost far more than the Crosstour, which had a starting price of roughly $29,000. In contrast to the Honda, the Toyota features a trunk even though it has the appearance of a liftback. Significant discrepancies in experience, certainly. On the surface, we wouldn't hold it against someone if they said, so it's a bigger, fancier cross door with a trunk? The XLE Limited and Platinum trim levels will be available. The Platinum has a special set of 21-inch wheels, while the XLE and Limited have 19-inch wheels. For the Limited, an advanced technology option may be ordered with the center trim on a separate set of 21-inch wheels. The bitone paint job, which combines a black center with one of five colors on the sides, is only available on the Platinum trim. Here, every Crown will be a hybrid with all-wheel drive. The XLE and Limited will use the same hybrid system as previous Toyota vehicles, which we are accustomed to, but with improvements like a high-output nickel-metal hydride battery. Two electric motors assist a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter four-cylinder, which then uses a continuously variable gearbox to transmit power to the front wheels. The rear axle is driven by an electric motor as part of the on-demand E4 all-wheel drive system. The front to rear torque split goes from 100% to 2080. The whole system produces 236 horsepower, 17 more than the RAV4 Hybrid. The RAV4 Hybrid achieves a combined fuel efficiency of 38 miles per gallon, which is two fewer. 
The only speeds and lengths this vehicle can go on battery power alone are in parking lots and when entering a gated neighborhood after a night out. Alternately, you have normal, sport, and eco. The Platinum comes with a brand new performance-tuned Hybrid Max powertrain. The aggregate power is increased to 340 by a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder and a water-cooled rear motor. A six-speed automatic gearbox with a multi-plate wet clutch in place of a torque converter boosts dynamism instead of using a CVT, and an e-motor inside of that transmission fills in power drops when changing. When using the E4 advanced technology, the front axle can only receive 70% of the driving torque. Although the torque distribution is still 2080 in favor of the rear, a lot more activity is being directed there due to the high power over the simple E4 all-wheel drive. Three more modes, Sport Plus, Comfort, and Custom are added to the powertrain. Fuel efficiency is reduced to 28 miles per gallon combined after the performance short. The new multi-link suspension in the back works with the McPherson struts up front. To reduce pitch and roll, the adaptive variable suspension on the Platinum has been fine-tuned. Luxury The XLE has a black fabric weave inside. The Limited has black, chestnut, or macadamia soft tax, and the Platinum has black leather. All grades have a 12.3-inch driver's display and a 12.3-inch infotainment screen with the most recent Toyota software, which includes benefits like wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and OTA updates. The luxury interior we saw in the Crown Platinum does the best it can with a variety of black materials and a bit of contrasting trim, keeping in mind that Toyota has Lexus to safeguard. Given that the automaker claims to have taken great care to reduce noise, vibration, and harshness, we believe that the dynamic experience will account for a longer portion of premium perception. Engineers, as reported, use sound deadening and architectural elements rather than emphasizing a decibel level to produce a quiet ambiance suitable to enjoy easy conversation or hearing music in clear detail. For example, every crown comes with acoustic glass, and the steering gear has been placed differently to give greater steering feel and reduce vibration. Dual zone temperature control and heated eight-way power front seats are standard on all three model levels. The front thrones, ventilation, and the back thrones, heating are added by Limited and Platinum. The Limited and Platinum have an 11-speaker JBL audio system, but the XLE must make do with a basic six-speaker audio system. Toyota's bird's eye view camera with perimeter scan is included when the Limited's 21-chin wheels are added as part of the advanced technology package. The advanced park system, which can fit the crown into a vacant spot and and the all-seeing cameras are both included as standard features on Platinum. Every model also has Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which includes driving assistance, including dynamic radar cruise control and a blind spot monitor. Better sensors will result in improved lane assistance performance. The Crown's cabin has a suitably upscale appearance inside. In particular, if they choose a Limited or a Platinum model, drivers who trade in their Avalon sedans are in for an upgrade. The Crown may be an appealing option to full-size sedans that nonetheless follow a more conventional formula since the driving position is increased from a regular sedan height to something like a small SUV. Pricing and Availability Toyota isn't just prepared to provide a price, but it is obvious that this one will be expensive. The starting price of the 2022 Avalon XLE Hybrid is $38,920, including destination. When the Crown starts to arrive at dealers before the year is through, we won't be shocked to see a range of $43,000 to $50,000 across the lineup. The Crown will be a brand new model for Toyota in the United States. By the end of 2023 or the beginning of 2024, we anticipate the Crown to be on sale. Once again, this is one of the cars that are simply worth spending some fortunes on. If you love luxury, then this will be a great option. Keep an eye out for this super release coming in 2024.